So here's a good representation of the ethene orbital structure in three dimensions. I kept everything color-coded the same as it is in this page in the book. That way this will make sense. All right, so let's see what we're looking at here. We have sp2 hybridized carbons represented by the black spheres here. If these are sp2 hybridized, that means they have three sp2 orbitals, and this thing is trigonal, trigonal planar around these carbons. So everything is planar, and that's why all of these sp2 orbitals are all in the same plane. I'll kind of spin this around so we can see that. But you can see they're all in the same plane. So that means this black bond and these bonds to the hydrogens here, they're all in the same plane. Now, 90 degrees from that is the p orbital of each carbon atom. Because remember, when something is sp2, you can also call that sp2 plus p to remember that there is an unhybridized p orbital on each of those carbon atoms. And this is what forms the pi bond. Okay, And those p orbitals are 90 degrees from all of these bonds.